Hello students, let's continue with the topic of Squares and Square Roots Today, we are going to discuss some interesting patterns of square numbers Do you know about triangular numbers? Numbers whose dot patterns can be arranged as triangles are called triangular numbers that is 1, 3, 6, 10, etc. are the triangular numbers. Let's calculate the sum of two consecutive triangular numbers. Consider 1 and 3. 1 plus 3 equals 4 equals 2 square. Now, let's go for 3 and 6. 3 plus 6 equals 9 equals 3 square now we can go to 6 and 10 6 plus 10 equals 16 equals 4 square observe their sum what did you notice the sum is square numbers aren't they yes when we combine two consecutive triangular numbers, we will get a square number. Let's check another interesting pattern. There are non-perfect square numbers between two consecutive square numbers. There are two numbers between one square and two square four numbers between two square and three square and six numbers between three square and four square. Now, can you find the numbers of non-perfect square numbers between four square and five square? Observe the pattern once again, you can see that the number of non-perfect square numbers between two consecutive square numbers is twice the base of the smaller square number. That is, in two consecutive perfect square numbers, if the base of the lower number is n, then there will be two n non-perfect square numbers between them. Now, let's have a look at another interesting pattern. Have you understood the patterns? Yes, the pattern is made of only odd numbers, and the number of terms in first row is 1, and the number of terms in second row is 2, and in the third row is 3, and so on. Let's find the sum of terms in each row. Have you noticed anything special? Yes, they are perfect squares. That is, the sums can be expressed as squares of natural numbers. Note that the base number is equal to the number in terms of the series. Thus, we can say that the sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square. That is, any square number can be written as the sum of consecutive odd numbers, starting from 1. Consider the number 25, successively subtract odd numbers, starting with 1 from 25. We get 25 minus 1 equals 24. 24 minus 3 equals 21. 21 minus 5 equals 16. 16 minus 7 equals 9. 9 minus 9 equals 0. This means 25 equals 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. Also 25 is a perfect square. Let's consider another number 38 and again do as above. 38 minus 1 equals 37. 37 minus 3 equals 34. 34 minus 5 equals 29. 
29 minus 7 equals 22. 22 minus 9 equals 13. 13 minus 11 equals 2. 2 minus 13 equals minus 11. This shows that we are not able to express 38 as the sum of consecutive odd numbers, starting with 1, also 38, is not a perfect square. So we can also say that, if a natural number cannot be expressed, as a sum of successive odd natural numbers, starting from 1, it is not a perfect square. We can use this result, to find whether a number is a perfect square, or not. Let's recall what we learned. We have discussed, some interesting patterns. Adding triangular numbers. Numbers between two consecutive square numbers. Square numbers, as the sum of consecutive odd numbers. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Find the sum of the first 25 odd natural numbers. There's a hint, the sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square. That's all for now, see you all in the next class.